choices, because out of the toss of the coin, we'll be able to get the cotton bowl game underway. And Hatfield puts it up. Stone. Now Harrison. Harrison at the 10 yard line to the 15 to the 20, 25. Harrison to the 30, 35, 40. Randy Harrison to the 50, 45, 40, 35. And Randy Harrison goes out of bounds at the 34 yard line of Houston. He'll to rush for 728 yards and average 4.1. There is the backfield, Montana. Well, that's not the one they started, but that is the one they'll have in there a good part of the day. I'm at Vegas Ferguson, the most valuable player in last year's Cotton Bowl. But they're starting the senior. Jerome Heavens, who leads career yards rushing all-time leader for Notre Dame. Give it again to Jerome Heavens. And he powers his way through. Almost to the 25-yard line as David Hives, the junior from Clute, and Jose Taylor came in to make the tackle. Both had outstanding seasons for the Houston Cougars. As the Houston defensive line. And the linebackers. A very quick secondary. Cook, Hatfield, Ebner, and Bradley. Here's to his fullback. And Palace. Pete Palace carried the ball and Bradham. Was in there to make the tackle. Today will go for it. Palace is out of the ballgame. Now Buchanan's in there at fullback. Fourth down, about a yard and a half to go. Evans, he stacked up. I don't think he made he it. He didn't make it. And the ball will go over to the Houston Cougars who have held and nullified a brilliant kickoff return by Notre Dame. So the Cougars are going to take the ball. Jose Taylor and Fred Snell were there on the tackle. First down and 10 yards to go. And Danny Davis is in there to run the attack. His running backs are Emmett King and Randy Love. Both gained over 1,000 yards. There they are. Receivers, Herring, Adams, Jurgadis, and the offensive line. The key, key to the Houston attack on the Vera offense is the line. With the King, and Emmett King powers up to the 30-yard line before Bob Golick comes in to make the tackle. Yo. Steve Heimkreider also on the tackle for Notre Dame. Here's the Notre Dame defense. Yeah, it's Weston, Calhoun, and Hankard. On play coming for the Houston Cougars, champions at the Southwest Conference. Love. And he moved it up to the 35-yard line. Heimkreider. Again coming in on the tackle. They take a long look now at first down yardage. King gained 1,095 yards. There's the linebackers for Notre Dame. Heimkreider, Golick in the middle, All-American, and Bobby Leopold on the outside. They're going to measure for the possible first down here now. Artificial turf here at the Cotton Bowl. Out of running room for King. Got a first and 10. It's up at the 48-yard line. Bobby Leopold finally brought him down first and 10. A 13-yard pickup. 66, Robert Jones, a sophomore from Tyler, Texas, takes care of the linebacker. And what a hole. Emmett King picks up 13 yards and another first down. Errol Clark has come into the backfield now there. That's love. Another big hole, and he goes through to the 42-yard line of Notre Dame before Bob Golick brought him down. There's the center popping out. Dennis Greenewald, the guard, and it's a big hole on the right side. 11-yard pickup, another first down, and Houston is taking it right to Notre Dame's defense. Danny Davis, the quarterback. Gets it again to Love. He got through to the 38-yard line before John Hankett brought him down again to four yards. Jeff Weston also on the play. It'll be second down and six. Three options for Danny Davis. Willis Adams and a wide left. Fumble. It was. Got away. Emmett King had the ball fumbled, and Jay Case has recovered it for Notre Dame. Houston doesn't get beat by too many teams. They beat themselves, Lindsay. They had 44 fumbles on the year and lost 27 of them. And right here, 75, Jay Case, the offside defensive end, gets the football back for Notre Dame. Sideline, head coach of the Irish, finishing up his fourth year as head coach at Notre Dame. Well, Montana would love to have that one back. Dennis Grindinger, the tight end, little play action right, came back against the green, was wide open. Their running backs are split. Montana dropping back. 
There's a screen right to Heavens. Heavens tries to back to the inside to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Jerome Heavens, 45. Gets across the 40-yard line of Houston. It'll be first and 10, Notre Dame at the Houston 38-yard line. We're going to watch a screen set up to the right side. Pete Palace goes blocking on the left. Watch the screen set up. Jerome Heavens makes a great move. 26-yard pickup right here. He beats the linebacker to the inside with good speed. He hasn't played the last couple of games. Uh, too many. Vegas Ferguson has not been in the ball game so far. Palace and Heavens. That's Heavens from the tailback. Dives across the 35-yard line and up to the 34-yard line. A gain of four makes it second and six. Robert Oglesby in to make the tackle again. He's a junior from Fort Worth, Montana. Joe Montana up the middle. And Mastak has it to the 15 to the 10. The freshman, Dean Mastak, goes to the five-yard line. And Montana's right on target. He split the backs, pro-type offense, goes back in the pocket. He's got his eye on the big tight end all the way. 28-yard pickup, first and goal at the six. They must put some points on the board when they have the win in the first quarter. Montana's rolling and looking and keeping, and Montana past the shoulder and touchdown, Notre Dame. Montana lowered the shoulder and got in for the touchdown. Watch Bowman here, number 74, the defensive end. He goes over and knocks and hits Montana right at the goal line. Let's see if he gets in. He's very close. Referee right there, he got over. And Montana goes in for Notre Dame's first score. There he is. Mayol is disabled, and so Eunice is uh, doing the converting. Knaffel is holding for him. Knaffel puts it down and drops it. Knaffel tries to scramble for it. Mayol tries to get to it. Ball is still loose. The conversion is no good, and the play is ended. Of the Cotton Bowl game here in Dallas, Texas. Number seven, Linnell Fee, number 15. There is the scoring drive. Montana, by the way, is two for four, 54 yards so far. CG puts it up. Elston at the six yard line. He's at the 10 at the 15. Harry Elston across the 20. And fumbles the ball at the 24 yard line. And Notre Dame has recovered. Notre Dame has recovered the fumble. He's a backup quarterback. He's trying to get over to the right side. He's got his two hands on the football here. He gets hit, coughs up the football. And I think it was Bob Crable, a linebacker, who got it back for ND. 5.6, he's the tailback, 32, in the ball game just now. Now Montana rolls and throws the screen left. Taken on the left side by Vegas Ferguson. Got inside the 20-yard line, down near the 16, as Fred Snell made the tackle. 1192 yards rushing on the year, Notre Dame record. This is Vegas Ferguson. He's got the first down with yards to spare. He's inside the 10 at the 8. First down and goal to go. Gerald Cook from the corner made the tackle for Houston along with Kenny Hadai. And the wing back to the right side is Detmer. Detmer in motion across. Great pitch to Heavens from the tailback. Evans drives to the two-yard line, where it'll be third down and goal to go. Notre Dame at the Houston two. Buchanan, touchdown, Notre Dame. Pete Buchanan, the freshman, 6'3", 220-pounder, drove in for the second Notre Dame touchdown of the day. Montana rolls and looks. Throws incomplete into the end zone. Trying to get it to Houlihan, and so that conversion attempt fails as well, and the score remains. Notre Dame 12, Houston nothing, with 4 minutes 40 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Gets it off. Weimer is deep. Scramble is on down there about the 12, 13 yard line. Notre Dame got mixed up. They did, and hit a Notre Dame man, and Houston recovered. It hit a red jersey. It hit one of the Houston Cougars, and Notre Dame thought it was a live football. They should have... Let's check it out. I think it hit one of the Houston Cougars back upfield. First and 10, Houston at the Notre Dame. It's going to the 12-yard line. Danny Davis, the quarterback. That's Love carrying, and he gets inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. John Hanker there on the tackle for Notre Dame. Now the pitch back to King, and Emmett King downs the ball at the 15-yard line for a loss of six. That's Shasta four, the Cougar. 
that's kept in an air-conditioned cage on the campus of the University of Houston. Eddie Davis, full cover, sets it up, throws it into the end zone, touchdown for Houston, taken there by Willis Adams. Willis Adams took it for the touchdown. Danny Davis, uh, this wasn't a picture pass, but it was end over end, and Willis Adams was wide open in the end zone. The senior, his fifth touchdown of the year. So as they come back up the field, it is now Notre Dame 12, Houston 7, and we have 17 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Notre Dame moved. Well, penalty markers are down as Taylor was in to make the tackle on Ferguson. That's, this is another small gentleman, 6'5", 265 pounds. Heavens gets clotheslined. No gain. Leading by a score of 12 to 7. Danny Davis brings the Cougars up. He still has it. Pitches to King. Emmett King across the 40. Penalty marker. Face mask. Appropriately for the afternoon. Danny Davis holding against Notre Dame. Treated as a quarterback. This is love, and he fumbles the ball, and Notre Dame recovers at the 32-yard line. It's a day for turnovers. The cold weather, John Hanker, number 47, on the ball for Notre Dame. Montana has it. Maztec with a sliding catch. And he's right at the stick, so they let's check this one out pretty carefully. See, 33, it's first and 10 at the 23-yard line. That's Vegas Ferguson carrying. But he is firmly in the grasp of David Hodge, number 42, the junior from Clute, all Southwest Conference and All-American linebacker for the Cougars. You can speak for yourself, I'm cold all over. <laughs> it's third down and 11 yards to go at the 22. Fumble, now, fumble. Houston got the ball, the Cougars have it. Near the 20 yard line of Notre Dame. And Dave Huffman have had a problem on the exchange from the center to the quarterback and it is definitely because of the weather. Watch David Hodge react to the football. The big linebacker, the junior from Flute, has got it. And Eight and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Danny Davis, the quarterback. And this one off to Love. Torn jersey and all. He goes to the 17-yard line. Jeff Weston from Rochester, New York, brought him down. And they are playing. Danny Davis with the pitch. King has it inside the 10-5, down to the three-yard line, and maybe the two. Pete Johnson finally made the stop. It is marked at the three-yard line, first down and goal to go. One thing about the Vera Lindsay, it doesn't matter what defense the other team is in. Here's the fake over the middle, reverse option. King has got it, now watch him turn it on. 14-yard pickup, first down. Counter option, reverse option is really hurt him. Penalty markers down to the line of scrimmage. Davis gets into the end zone. Now there's a penalty marker to be checked out. So what's that all about? They're going to go against Illegal Houston. motion against Houston nullifies what otherwise would have been a touchdown. The setbacks for that man, Danny Davis. King down to the two-yard line. It'll be fourth down coming up. Love, touchdown! Love took it in for the touchdown. From the end zone, just a handoff. Right over his right tackle, he veers to the outside, and his momentum gets him into the end zone. Houston takes the lead. The Cougars are leading it now 13 to 12, and they have a conversion attempt coming, and they have Kenny Hatfield in that about it. Randy Love, who took it in. The Houston Cougars 14, and Notre Dame 12. With six minutes, 27 seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Come out front. Vegas Ferguson. Stop from making a first down, and Houston will be back in business with good field position, and this really hurts. Holy. I get Hands in the wide right, hula hand left. Montana rolling. Goes to Houlihan, and it is intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Hatfield. Hatfield is returning, and he's across the 40, 35 to 30. Kenny Hatfield goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First and 10, Houston at the Notre Dame 25 on Kenny Hatfield's interception. The 
was trying to come up with the play, Lindsay, to get him out of that territory, a big first down, but what a defensive interception by Kenny Hatfield. Good hands, and Hatfield keeps his balance on a good return, a 25-yard return. He's out of bounds. That is Love, Gary. Randy Love. Opted to the 17 before Mike Calhoun and Bobby Leopold brought him down. Gain of eight yards on the play, second and two. Houston at the Notre Dame 17-yard line, and Houston is leading by a score of 14 to 12. This is King. First and 10. At the 10, Tom Gibbons made the tackle for Notre Dame. Davis has the ball. Davis throw inside the five-yard line to the four. Jay Case, there on the tackle. Davis, Davis still alive. Throws it up into the end zone and throws it away. It's incomplete. Fourth and four at the four-yard line. The 21-yarder is good. And the score is Houston 17, Notre Dame 12. And we have exactly three minutes remaining to be played in the first half of the 43rd annual Cotton Bowl game here in Dallas, Texas. Bullahan in motion across. Give it to the fullback. Evans has moved it out across the 30, 35, and on to the 37-yard line for a first and 10. 12. Montana. And it's complete up the middle. And Evans takes it across the 45-yard line to the 46. David Hodge made the tackle. Montana, 6 for 14, 71 yards. Pop this one up the middle, and it is Jose Taylor on the tackle. Likes that much. It's short. Montana likes to run that. He runs the sneak. Penalty marker. He got the first down, but there may be a five-yard penalty involved. Montana on the team, and flats are down on the play. Well, defensive, if you don't put a man hit up that center, you're using two defensive tackles off. Montana intercepted at the 45-yard line and returned by Bradham, Steve Bradham, intercepted it. Flags down. If they gained, they had to gain in the air. They try the throw here to Love. Randy Love across the 50. And he is at the 45-yard line of Notre Dame. Tom Gibbons upset him there. Great move here. Just a little draw. Randy Love just picks up the first down on his own. He breaks a tackle here. Going forward, he got the extra yard, first down. Popcorn and whatnot in the stands as a youngster. His appearance record after he started playing football in this stadium is 8-0. King, and he gets inside the 40-yard line, Jay Case. Well, that's Which is not all that bad. Third down and two yards to go with the ball on the 37-yard line. Davis has got it. Got the first down. And Pete stop Johnson. The clock. Eric Herring's in the wide right. Herring at the 21 yard line. Pull him out of bounds at the 17. Stops the clock with nine seconds remaining. He'll go attempt. 34 yard attempt. Wyatt puts it down. Hatfield's kick is up. And the 34 yarder is good. It skimmed the ball. got no. over. It just got over, but it made it three seconds on the clock. A 34-yard field goal is good, and Houston leads now by a score of 20 to 12. The halftime intermission by a score of 20 to 12 over Notre Dame. A victory for Houston over Notre Dame would be of considerable importance to them for years. Houston struggled as an independent trying to get named teams on their schedule. And a victory over Notre Dame would be a considerable feather in their cap. Let's go down now to Frank Lieber. Bill Yeoman is here with me, and you guys are playing like it's 75 degrees. 
Well, no, it's not 75 degrees. The kids have played, come back after those first two mistakes there early and have played pretty well. I'll tell you what, though, that gum Notre Dame now, they've dropped some passes and things like that. I'll tell you, they're playing real tough. We better be ready for a full foot, full football game. But you haven't lost your cool at all after that 12 oh, points against how you. How can you lose your cool on a day like this, for crying out loud? No, there's no sense in getting stirred up. Heck, you're going to play as well as you can play, and if it doesn't work out, that's the way it goes. The wind, obviously, is a big factor, though you did score wind once is, against it. Yeah, wind's getting to be a little bit of a problem. And I got a sneaking suspicion they cool off here and really get bad. Montana, a little trouble throwing the ball. You're defensing them that well. Or is the wind against him in that second Well, period? no, I'll tell you, I think Joe's throwing the ball pretty doggone well. We got in one and maybe two, but uh, he's throwing the ball pretty well. I think our linebackers are playing better. I think our secondary is playing better. I'll tell you, we lost our concentration late in the year in our linebacker and defensive end, and they're playing better right now. You surprised you're running the ball as well as you are? Oh, no. No, we we run it all year, and, and we feel if we can execute, we can run the ball and down anybody. But you know, like, they may not. They may step it in our ears this next one. <laughs> well, it was cold here a couple of years ago, but not quite like this, huh? No, you're right. You're right. It's good and fresh. Okay, thank you very much. Real good okay. luck to you in the second half. Bill Yeoman, the head coach of the Houston Cougars, here at halftime, where the Cougars lead Notre Dame by a score of 20 to 12. Back with halftime activities in just a moment. First down, Houston. Lindsay, you can see they have co completely controlled the football. 12 first downs to Notre Dame, 6. 155 yards rushing, Lindsay, and there is the key to the ball game right there. Houston's veer has been able. Uh, they haven't really looked as good offensively as they've looked on certain occasions this year, but they are doing the job. 155 yards rushing, Notre Dame only 79. And the big key for Notre Dame, only 71 yards in the air throwing the football. Montana's had three or four Maybe five passes dropped here in the first half. So at halftime, it is Houston leading Notre Dame by a score of 20 to 12. And uh, it's a cold day here in Houston, Texas. And uh, how much effect that had on the ball game, Paul? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Lindsay. We watched a beautiful halftime show here at the Cotton Bowl, and I only hope that the football players can hold on to the football and uh, not too many fumbles as the, these little girls down here in shorts with the baton twirls, they didn't drop too many. I think they're really the stars of the show so far. I saw that one baton twirler throw that thing up 50 feet in the air. It hurt me even to see it to start down on a cold day. Didn't seem to bother the Rangerettes at all. They got along just fine. They sure did. But Notre Dame at halftime, I would imagine Dan Devine is a little bit hot. They haven't played too well. They got off, uh, what, two touchdowns in front, 12 to nothing, and then Houston stormed back. I don't want to try to get a report on Montana. I don't think he was hurt. There was no apparent injury to Montana, but it is a great surprise that Tim Cagle has come out here as the starting quarterback in the second half. Cagle with the pitch now to Vegas Ferguson. And Ferguson pulled down by the Cougar defense. It's a dogged defense, and it's at the 20-yard line. The running back split on third down. Heavens Garrett. Got about a foot or so, and the punting unit's coming on for Notre Dame. Kicking into the wind, Fee takes it at the Notre Dame 40 and gets to the Notre Dame 38-yard line, where the Cougars will start first and 10, Jay Case. It's as far to the left side. Davis with a pitch. King is coming back, drops the ball. King simply takes it on a dribble and is down at the 48-yard line for a loss of 10. As Dave Wimble made the stop, it'll be second and 20 back at the 48. <laughs> Completed pass to the 25-yard line, taken there by Willis Adams. And it's a first and 10 at the 25. Randy Harrison made the tackle. Pass from Danny Davis. Davis back, his third completion of the afternoon. He really guns it. 20-yard pickup right over the middle. He's wide open in the Notre Dame zone. Randy Harrison on the stop. Average per catch is over 18 yards. Davis has it. And he pumps it complete to Eric Herring. Herring's first catch of the day. Jay Case made the tackle. Leading and driving. They send Adams to the left side, Herring to the right side, Love's in the right set, King's in the left set for Danny Davis. That's King. Emmett King drives to the 13, it's a first and 10. Jay Case made the tackle for Notre Dame. Now, Davis keeps. Davis is at the five, and he is out of bounds at the two-yard line. Great balance. Tackle back here, but it's the quick feed of Danny Davis. Here he is, fakes it inside. You see they tackled the handoff man. Now Davis does the rest on his own. He 
Roca tackle from Heim Kreider and Randy Harrison. Davis, touchdown! Randy Davis. Yeah, they got, they've got Notre Dame's defense just guessing now. You really better not guess against a Vera. You're going to really get hurt. This time he fakes it and ducks back inside the handoff spot easily for the score. 57, Notre Dame 12, 6 minutes, 29 seconds left to play in the third quarter. First and 10 at the 22 for Notre Dame. Houston defense once again. You've got to start throwing the football, Lindsay, on first and second down. Right this will not work. Montana warming up along the sidelines. Kago. Going long. The last time, and it is incomplete. Ten men on the line of scrimmage for the Houston Cougars. Oh, and they block it. Yeah. They block it. Houston has the ball. Here at the 20 yard line inside the 20. For a 27 to 12 and in good field position here once again in the third quarter. Davis has the ball. Keeps it. 15, 10. Continues to drive for the seven yard line. Pete Johnson brought him down. First down and goal to go. Houston at the Notre Dame seven. Number 82 brought in the next play. That's love. Hits inside the five-yard line. It'll be second down and goal there. Jay Case made the tackle. Go, Houston at the Notre Dame five-yard line. Davis has got it, and it's a touchdown. Davis took it in at the plan. This is what I was talking about. When Notre Dame closes it up, the handoff, Davis is going to take it outside, and he goes in unmolested. That's his second touchdown of the day. He's also thrown for one touchdown. And so as they come back up the field this time, the score is Houston 34 and Notre Dame 12. The Cougars are running it up. And Joe Montana comes in now at quarterback. Joe Montana making his first appearance of the second half. He quarterback throughout the entire first half, but during the intermission. But he's back in there. Montana has the ball, guns it, and it is incomplete. Almost pass interference there. Chris Haynes, Chris Haynes, Haynes is really hot. Haynes is hot. Gerald Cook. Cook, he got away with it. Chris Haynes this time takes it and goes out of bounds at the 27-yard line. That's his first catch of the day. Montana drops back over the middle and incomplete. Trying to get it to Jerome Heavens. Just a bad pass, or maybe Heavens rang a wrong ran a wrong pattern as you see Montana there talking to heavens he was wide open in the wide right this is King Emmett King to the 44 yard line that's Gramke latched on to him there again the three will make it fourth and three Pete Johnson also on the tackle and the punting unit comes on Harrison is 10 yards upfield in tandem high snap is pulled down Wimmer at the 13 yard line Wimmer to the 15 to the 20 up the sideline and out of bounds. As Heavens with one in room and across the 40 to the 45 and across the 50 and on into Houston territory, Jerome Heavens at the 47 yard line is dropped by Kenny Hatfield. Montana rolls and keeps. Saw some daylight and wanted to go, but could not quite get through. He was pulled down after a gain of two by Theodos Williams. Evans has carried 14 times for 70 yards here this afternoon. Short drop. Montana now going to Chris Haynes, and it is intercepted at the 12-yard line. It is Cook, I think. That's the third interception today for Joe Montana. Elvis Bradley, a junior from Longview, Texas. You see Montana a little trouble. He went to his right. And over and right in the arms of Elvis Bradley, intended for Chris Haynes. 
That's the end of the third quarter with the score, Houston 34, Notre Dame 12. We now pause for a word from your local station. Houston has the ball second down, nine yards to go. They have it at their own 12-yard line. Danny Davis has quarterbacked the Cougars throughout. He's been over in conference with his head coach, Bill Yeoman, and he's joined. Over and back, no contact. Danny Davis. Back to the 12 as Mike Calhoun is hanging on to him. It'll be third down and nine at the 12-yard line. Jay Case also on the tackle. Fair catch signal goes up, and the fair catch is made. Made by Harrison at the 38-yard line, so Notre Dame starts first and 10 at the Houston 38. Third and 10. And he backs a split for Montana. Intercepted at the 25-yard line. And return to the 34. David Hodge, number 42, one of the co-captains. Great linebacker, picked it off. He's going to be back next year, Lindsay. You see David Hodge right there to the right of your screen. Montana drops back, trying to hit a turn-in pattern. And look at this interception. One-handed interception by David Hodge. Houston's ball. Into the wind and it's held up, but it gets a Houston roll across the 35 and it goes out of bounds at the 33 yard line. First and 10. For Notre Dame, they have the ball at their own 33. Montana back. And that was incomplete. He gunned that one to his tight end, mass tack. Flags down at the line of scrimmage. Rather than trying to fire to the open man because it's that, just that much more difficult to catch national reputation on their schedule to get some attention to their football program. Well, they're getting a lot of it today. It's incomplete. Herring is holding it up, but the official over there said, no, he trapped it. Back to the weak side. Herring is all alone down the right sidelines. Well, I don't know. That's very, very close. It looked as if he got it to me. Picks it up, kicks it up into the air, partially blocked. Gets to the 22-yard line and is taken there. And so it will be Notre Dame's ball. There's a penalty marker. There's a penalty marker thrown out of bounds. That was Belden who took it. That's it. Albert Newhouse, number 37, tackling out of bounds. Personal foul. So outside the nine. Montana short drop and rolls now. Stops and throws back. Incomplete. Fourth down coming. This is coming in with the next play. Buchanan goes off. Ball is on the 10-yard line. Contact made on the line of scrimmage and Marcus a throw. Here comes Buchanan back in for Palace. Chris Haynes in a wide left. Pete Houlihan in a wide right for Joe Montana. Montana. Look for Haynes. He's covered and he gets rid of it just barely. There's Leonard Mitchell, number 70, the gentleman I was talking about in the first half. Who five yard line. There he is. Always one of them, right? <laughs> He's got some antifreeze in him. Out runs the option. And there's a pitch to Love. Love is taken down at the 33 yard line. Good name. Well, that one is blocked. And Notre Dame gets the football. That ball can be advanced. And it's being advanced right into the end zone. And it is taken in there for a touchdown. It was Cicci, Steve Cicci. Steve Cicci. You can, a, you can advance a block punt if it's caught in the air. 18 with conversion attempt coming. And rolling is Montana. And he throws. And it's gathered in for two points. Taken in the end zone for two points by Vegas Ferguson. And so the score is Houston 34, 
Notre Dame, 20. Notre Dame, who blocked the punt. All right, we have seven minutes, 18 seconds out to play in the game, and the quarterback coming in is Delrick Brown. He's a junior from Lufkin, Texas, 5'11", 160-pounder. In the uh, last five or six minutes, they had a first 10 on the 11-yard line. Brown still has it at the 30-yard line. Ham Carter hanging on to him. Yeah. He's a weightlifter. <laughs> That's love, Gary, and he gets it to the 33-yard line. Mike Calhoun. Delrick Brown brings the Cougars up. King. A little short. He has a little left to play here. Montana. On the money this time. Completes it. Inside the 45-yard line to Dean Maztak, the freshman tight end. Desperately get one, go for two, and come back with the onside kick. Dean Mastic, the big freshman. Montana going to Heavens. He's got it. Evans is out of bounds at the 14-yard line, where it's another first and ten for Notre Dame. Now Montana's getting hot. He's called the comeback kid. He's done this before down the sidelines. Jerome Heavens. Makes a good over-the-shoulder catch, and he's out of bounds. 30-yard pickup on the pass. This game. Montana throws on the run, incomplete. Trying There's to get it to Houlihan. There's a penalty market throw at the two-yard line. And on the square-out pattern, Lindsay, it was Gerald Cook, number 10. Right here, Cook comes over the body. Interference call makes it first down and goal to go. That's Joe Montana bringing the Irish up third down and goal to go inside the two-yard line of Houston. Montana's rolling. He's going to try to take it in, and he's got it. Touchdown, Montana. Notre Dame is on the board. Joe's still down. He really made a great determination, Lindsay, to get over the end zone. Montana's the quarterback. Rolls, and he's going to try to get to the flag. Now throws, and it's good for two points. He hit Haynes. He found Chris Haynes, his favorite pass receiver, and gunned it right in there. So Notre Dame picked up two on the conversion to score. It's Houston 34, Notre Dame 28. Four minutes, 15 seconds left to play. And as a pitch to Love at the 20, 25, penalty markers thrown. Randy Harrison made the tackle. As far as Bill Yeomans is concerned, he had a first down. They got outside, only to be penalized half the distance of the goal line. Hope third down and seven yards to go. Andy Davis, incomplete, incomplete. Tried to get it to Willis Adams. Dave Weimer covered, and that'll make it a fourth down. Adams had it momentarily, but that young man, number 34, Dave Weimer, broke it up. Punt if it gets it rolls off. it back. The center rolled it back. Ball hits up at the 40 to the 45. Takes a Houston bounce to the 50. Waymer dives on it at the 49-yard line of Houston. Notre Dame gets the ball in Houston territory. First and 10, a 28-yard punt. Turn out, and it's complete to Haynes. Chris Haynes simply moves it to the 43-yard line. Montana, penalty marker is dropped at the line of scrimmage. Montana knocked off his feet at the 50-yard line, but there's a marker. Get a preliminary signal here. Illegal motion against Notre Dame. Decline. Buchanan is brought in the next play. Montana. And it is complete. Taken by Houlihan. That's enough for the first down, Lindsay. It's a first 11. Montana. Montana's going to run it. He's at the 30-yard line. Drops the ball. The scramble is on. And Houston got the ball. Montana had the first down, Lindsay, trying to run the football. He got hit. From the blind side, he wants to throw the football. Right up the middle is a gaping hole. Now watch, he's got the football in one hand and he gets hit there. He didn't get hit too hard, but on the right elbow and he coughs up the football. Tommy Ebner came out of the stack with the football when it was finally 
unstacked and in of yardage, but the ball was shaken loose. Houston recovered and Houston leads 34 to 28 with one minute 38 seconds left. Uh, King tries it. Sports Information Director Roger Valdeseri, Head Coach Dan Devine and his staff. Rolling is Davis. Gets it out there to the 24-yard line. He's leading 34 to 28. The snap. Got it off under a heavy rush. Notre Dame was off sides. It is rolling along the 45-yard line of Houston. Penalty markers are down. I don't think he got it. I don't think he did either. King uh, took the hand off and hit in there. The Notre Dame players don't think he did, but uh, they are not the officials, so they six points. Montana, Montana, Montana. Well, he'd have to get it to the sidelines, and he goes across the sideline marker. But the spot is being marked up there at the 18. It is a first down for Notre Dame. And that's off, right? 15 seconds. Notre Dame is ready to go first and 10 at the 18-yard line. Montana pops this one and it's Chris Haynes shouldering inside the 10-yard line and down to the 8. What a finish. Dallas, Texas. Montana, who played the first half, then did not come out after the halftime intermission. And the report from the team position was that he had become chilled and was running a slight temperature because of the weather conditions. Then came out. Montana. Incomplete. Three, three seconds. Hands. Three seconds. Two seconds on the clock. Houston 34. Notre Dame 28. Montana. Going. And it's a touchdown. Hey. A touchdown. Taken at the corner. Unbelievable. Unbelievable finish. Houston on top, 34 to 12, and now it's all tied up, 34 apiece. Was it in bounds or not? It was ruled a touchdown. A touchdown. Let's catch the ca camera angle here. The back go goes out of the backfield. Montana on the sidelines, and from our vantage point, we can't tell where the feet. In college football, you only have to have one foot in. Notre Dame has scored the touchdown. Right here, Lindsey. There's a couple of Houston people just in the camera angle Haynes caught the football and here comes the all-important extra point it's tied 34-34 Joe Yunus into a temp it's up and it's good I Joe Yunus from Dallas Texas kicked the extra point and the game is over Notre Dame has won it 35 to 34 what a finish Lindsay I've never seen anything like it Notre Dame completely dead came back in the fourth quarter to win it by one Notre Dame has won it 35 to 34 as Joe Yunus kicked the untying point. He is a native of Dallas, Texas. What a finish it was. There's still controversy down there, Lindsay. Well, teams are still along the sidelines. Nobody has headed out anymore, and perhaps there was a penalty on the conversion. Maybe not enough people on the field. Looks as if Notre Dame's going to line up for another extra point. And uh, having been penalized, Ganafo will hold, and Joe Yunus will have to try to do it again. It's down, Yunus kicks it, and it is good. Now Notre Dame has won the football game, 35 to 34, having to do it a second time, having sustained a five-yard penalty. Anything you want to say? Oh, I don't know what to say, Lindsay. Houston's got to be just unbelievably heartbroken over this loss. They were coasting along, only to see Notre Dame come back, and Montana has done it again. He has, in fact, Joe Montana has fought them from behind, so now this is Lindsey Nelson from Ball Horning and Frank Lieber saying so long from the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, and from all of us to all of you, a very happy new year.